as well. When the title is I Relapse. I'm so happy that I relapsed. <laughs> when I was doing the thumbnail for this, Danny was like, you should smile. You should do a happy smile. Smile because I relapsed. Okay. Hopefully this is working better. I just tried to do it and it was choppy for a lot of people. So I'm going to wait till everyone gets here and make sure that it's okay, that everything is working first before I get into what this is all about. So yeah, so let's wait a minute. Let me know when you join. Hi, Alicia. Let me know if it's choppy for you at all. I need to know this. Um, Is it the live bar? Mm. That's okay, Alicia. Wait, I hope we're not having a Wi-Fi. No, we've got good Wi-Fi. Hmm. It's good now? Okay, good. Okay, good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Hi, guys. So as you can tell from the title of this, um, I relapsed and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. I'm going to be sh saving this um, this to my story. Oh, look what I got, guys. I got a Fitbit, it's a, except it's a knockoff one. So, and I already reached my steps today. That's because I set it to 1,000. <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna try more. Um, so originally I made a video actually about all this um, and I was going to post it, but then I did a poll to see if you guys wanted a video or, um, a live stream and everyone said live stream. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to talk about it here. You can ask me anything respectively, respected, respected, respect, respectfully. I can't talk today or ever. That's the game. This is interesting. Um, Oh, I need to pull it up on here. Hold on. I always forget to do that. Can I say hi real quick before you go? If you'll just put like the cold stuff. We just barely got back from the store. Like we barely made it in time. We're gonna have to clean the whole fridge to do that. No. What what do we have that's cold? Mozzarella. Hang on one second. Pulling it up on here so I can see you guys. Okay, that's better. Okay, fabulous. No. Okay. Aw. Tiffany, I love you. Babe. I'm so sorry you're struggling. I'm so sorry a lot of you are struggling. Um okay, so how about I just get it all out, what I'm going through, and then you guys can ask me anything you want to. And if I feel it's... Thank you for doing that. And if I feel that it's um, not appropriate, what's the word I'm looking for? If I'm able to answer it, then I will, I guess. Sorry, Danny's... Um, that's... <laughs> Libby said WTF. You don't have to clean out the whole fridge. I have to make room for the new stuff. There's only milk and eggs. And all of the... I'm the morning minute. It's too much. You're welcome. Do you want a spanking? Do you want a spanking? That's what I thought. Okay. Yes. Is it, well, I don't know. Laura said, is it possible to relapse if you haven't recovered? Can you define what you mean? Okay, so my relapse was for self-harm. Um, I have been struggling with my eating disorder as well, and so I'm not going to call it a relapse because I never did fully recover from my eating disorder. Um, but... <laughs> you can relapse from progression, though, right? You can relapse. I, I think relapse so. During I don't know if that's like technically or that's like technically what a doctor would say, but I would think so. If you're doing like, if I'm doing progress and, where's my phone? If you're doing like 
oh, I'm down to purging only once a week instead of every day. And then you are only doing it once a week for a while and then you start doing it three times a week. Yeah, I consider that maybe not a relapse, but yeah, going, getting back down into it. So um, I wanted to tell you about my self-harm relapse, but I'm waiting till Danny leaves because, duh, he doesn't want to hear it. And I don't blame him. And he's already heard it once. It was hard for him to hear it the first time, so. Anyway, so I do agree. I don't know. I, I do think that it's possible to relapse if you're not fully recovered, except it's not called that. I don't know. But for me, I was fully recovered from self-harm. Uh, I want to say it's been about a year. I don't even remember the last time I did it. I'm sure if I went through all my videos to try and find when the last time was, then I'd find it, but I don't know. I have no idea, and I don't, and I don't care to do that. I just know that it's been a long time. Like, I don't even know if I've done it in this home. Has it? Have I? I feel like maybe I had one tiny little slip up but when we first moved here, when Buddy died, but that's it. I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bump in the road. Um, yeah. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Laura. That's great. Yeah. Um, thanks, Vicki. Sorry, I'm not reading. I keep forgetting. When you watch this later, you can't see all these comments. So Laura said, oh, no, I'm so sorry. Writing out my feelings has helped me with that. Thank you, Laura. Um, Alicia said it was before you met me, so it had to have been a year ago. Wow. So that's great. Um, no, it's okay. I just, you look really mad. I can do it if you want to. How about you come oh, no, talk to no, them and no, I'll no, do no, it. No, 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 no. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. But are you okay though? Yes, I'm okay. I really like teasing him. Especially when he's not in the mood. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Is there anything I can do for you? No. Are you okay? Yeah. But are you okay though? Super. But how are you feeling? You okay? <laughs> Good to know. I'm <laughs> such a brat. I'm such a brat. Anyway, you're going to say hi real quick? Literally, just pop your head in and out. Do it for Dora, if anything. I don't even know if she watches me anymore. Hi, guys. Look how cute he is. He's my best friend of all the times I've replaced with the peoples of the world. Of the... Go away so I can tell the story, because you don't want to hear it again. I love it. Okay. Love you. As soon as he's all the way downstairs, I'm about to tell you the whole story of what's been going on with me. I'm going to open up, be as honest as I can, and I want you guys to ask me whatever you want. And I will do my best to answer whatever I can or what I feel like would be appropriate to answer. So, here we go. Right, I've been eating all day, so I'm just like snacking on. I got this, um, this is from Glazed, one of our favorite places. This is just teriyaki chicken, white rice, veggies. Really good. Okay, so, so I self-harmed, was it yesterday? Crap, when was it? Yesterday or the day before? Was it yesterday, guys? Who was there on the Instagram live stream? I think it was yesterday. So, I didn't cut myself or anything like that. I didn't kick myself. But I, as stupid as it sounds, this is, it was yesterday. Thank you guys. Okay. It was so hard for me to tell them. Will you guys tell them? Because no one's going to believe me. The people, because I told the people on Instagram this last night. And it took me like 20 minutes to spit out the words. So I'm glad I already got to do it once so I can get this out faster and watch. I'm stalling again. Look at that. Shocking. Okay. So anyway, um, yesterday, I guess it was, I self-harmed by beating the living shit out of my face. Sorry, mom. Crap out of my face. Um, this is a self-harm that I used to do a lot because my face doesn't bruise. It does swell, but it doesn't bruise. Um, so yesterday, all day, I was very swollen. Today, I'm still swollen, but I feel like yesterday I was more swollen than today. I don't know. Um, so I'm really, really swollen from that. So there you go. Um, 
I'm not exactly sure where it came from. We spent a lot of time last night on the live stream trying to figure it out. And of course, I'm having a hard time remembering what we talked about. I don't know. If you were there, remind me what we talked about. We talked about, oh, we talked about, um, I really forgot to put a big trigger warning on this whole thing. Trigger warning! I already triggered, but oh well. Um, trigger warning for self-harm, too late, and for eating disorders. But you should try and stick around and work through your triggers and don't be scared because that's a new thing that we're all trying lately is we're all being like, you know what, yeah, we have these triggers. But we're not gonna let those triggers debilitate us and make us hide forever. Like we're gonna get used to having those triggers and fighting them. So if you're even want to do, try that a little bit, then stick around and do it. Cause guess what? That's what I've been doing for three years and it really frees you. Like it is freeing to talk about and to listen to hard things, you know? Okay, anyway, so um, I did pour it out last night. I think I even cried last night. <laughs> um, okay, so. <laughs> this is cute. Allie T said, are you a teacher or do you just, or? with your tree decorated like that? I'm not, but that's exactly what the lady at the store who checked me out in line asked. No, I'm not a teacher. This is a Christmas tree, but I have decorated it for every single season and holiday. So the month, the whole month of August is back to school themed because it's back to school time, but also I'm trying to do like back to basics on my channel. So I'm like redoing a whole lot of old videos so that's why I'm rolling with this theme so next month September will be uh, like a sunflower theme like getting into fall sunflowerish and then October will be Halloween tree and Halloween decorations and then November will be Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving tree and then obviously Christmas so I have done Valentine's Day uh, St. Patrick's Day Easter Luau type theme uh, 4th of July, and this one. Is that all we've done? Yeah, so, yeah, so it's really, really, it's fun. You should do it. If you have a white tree, or a green tree if you want, but white works best because it can go with anything. You should do it. It's been really fun, and it's like perfect for my backgrounds, so I love that. Okay, um... Can you do a video on your relapse that help that would help me tons? I can do. I have done it. Do you want to see the video that I recorded yesterday? It's basically everything I'm telling you right now though. Um, and I'm not done telling you. I keep getting sidetracked, of course. So let me get everything out first and then I'll not I'm not gonna look at your comments for a second because I get distracted really easy. So um Okay. So yeah, big trigger warning. Uh I've been struggling. Oh, I don't want to talk about this again. Oh, I'm doing it though. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Okay. Again, big trigger warning. I'm about to talk about numbers. Um, so I have really been struggling with the part of recovery where you gain a lot of weight. Um, and I'm also struggling with some personal home marriage issues. I'm also struggling with some, my health obviously, and eating disorders lately, like the past 10 days or so. I've been binging and purging every day, so that's fun. Um, I've also been dealing with the super personal problem that I can't talk about probably ever. Um, there's only two people in the whole world that know about it, Danny and Alicia, and it'll probably stay that way. Maybe someday I'll be brave enough to talk about it but it's something that's really been knocking me down even more lately and I've been trying to like, all of that mixed together, I think yesterday, I, was, I just remember sitting on my bed and I was like getting ready to upload a video, I think, or like editing it and I just out of nowhere just started beating my face like to death and I'm not a very strong person, but it hurt, like it hurt like hell and I kept going and it was weird because I don't remember starting it. I don't remember throwing the first punch that made everything go black. I don't remember like 
how I got there. I don't even know how long I was doing it. I would guess for like a minute straight, but I just kept going at it and I just blacked out. And then when I came to, my face swelled up and I was in pain everywhere. And um, I, I honestly thought like, that's the hardest I've ever hit myself. So I honestly thought that I would bruise, even though I never bruised on my face for some reason. I bruise like a banana everywhere else on my body, but on my face for some reason, I don't bruise. And it's always been that, it's, most of my life it's been that way. There have been a couple times where I'll bruise. Like when I got my teeth out, I bruised. Um, but yeah, I think it's due to like malnutrition and anemia that I don't bruise on my face. I think there's just not enough blood in there. You guys can see how pale I always am no matter what, so I think that's why I don't bruise. So anyway, so I don't remember why um, we've been trying to talk through it last night and I just told you the main issues that I'm going through right now and the struggles that I'm having. I'm really struggling with this weight gain because I'm feeling guilty that I'm struggling with the weight gain, if that makes any sense. So I'm really frustrated because I know logically and I know in my heart and I know every way that it's okay to gain weight and if you're recovering from an eating disorder, you are going to gain weight when you recover from an eating disorder, most likely. I mean, unless you're pretty much with bulimia and anorexic, anything where you're not keeping down a lot of food and then you recover from that, you're going to, you're going to gain weight, like bottom line. Um, and so like I know that and I've expected it and I knew it would happen, uh, but over the past, Two years about I've gained uh, 55 pounds and I would say 20 25 of those pounds have been in the last month alone and that's a pretty significant number it, let's just be realistic like it is I'm not saying that it's bad if you gain 55 pounds or if you're overweight I'm not saying it's bad I'm saying that obviously my eating disorder is really pissed at me and really struggling to figure out why on earth I would stop my eating disorder. Why on earth would I ever want to get better if I'm just gonna gain weight? And you worked so hard a long time ago to starve yourself and lose all that weight and then you gain it right back and then some and now you're almost back up to your heaviest weight. Like you're such a piece of trash and nobody wants you and nobody likes you and nobody wants to watch you and you're just totally a piece of shit like you always are and you always have been and who's gonna wanna sit there and watch a big blog talk to them every day because obviously my BBD, my BDD has gotten worse too, my body dysmorphic disorder and also you should just die. Even though I don't wanna die, I'm not gonna kill myself. That's another thing we need to talk about really quick. I've been very, uh, had very suicidal thoughts but never a thought to act on it um, I need to clarify this and I need to start being more clear about this and I apologize for the past. When I say that I'm thinking about the fact that I want to die, it doesn't mean I'm going to do it. It doesn't mean I'm even like considering it. It means that those are the thoughts in my head that need to come out. And, but I totally understand. So like every time I make a video, my family is the best family in the whole world. And every time I make a video that's titled, I relapsed or um, I'm, I want to die or whatever, they get super worried as they should. Like that's what you're supposed to do. Um, but I never really clarify that like, I haven't actually like, I'm not actually as bad as it is I'm making it sound. Like I, I'm okay, I know I'm not gonna do anything. I just have words in my head that I have to get out. And so since this is my form of everything these days, this is where it comes out sometimes and I've been really bad in the past at considering people's like feelings and worrying too much about me. So I just want to be very clear that I'm not at all suicidal or going to ever do that. I really, really am not. I have spent too many years and too many decades wanting to kill myself and thinking I was going to and it never happening and then every time it never happened I got stronger and stronger and I know that that's, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I do get those thoughts, so I just want the thoughts out of my head so that they don't fester inside and then I do something to hurt myself, like yesterday, obviously. Um, I think that's what happened. So, Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about, and then I'm going to look at all of your questions. Thank you for the Purple Hearts, by the way, everybody. If you guys don't know, anybody out there, if you don't know what Purple Hearts is, um, something we started on Instagram Live, Purple Hearts means... It's a pact between all of us that we will not self-harm and we will not 
take our own lives. It's basically an anti-suicide pact is the purple hearts. Different hearts mean, different colored hearts mean different things. You can find it on my Instagram. There's a whole chart that shows you. Um, so that's kind of just our language in our, in our family here that you're a part of too. So just in case you didn't know that, that's what it means. So, okay. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about real quick, and this is all I want to say about this topic. I'm fine with you asking me anything about my relapses, eating disorder, self-harm, anything like that. But this, I, I am going to do my best to give you as much information as I can right now. Um, because I, I, well, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll, okay, so what I'm talking about is treatment, okay? So, <laughs> as you all know, um, I tried a couple therapists this year. Um, and I didn't click with them, didn't bond with them, didn't feel right with them, didn't feel like they could help me in any way. Um, recently I found another therapist that specializes in, um, like sex and like sex therapy and sex trauma and stuff like that. Um, I still have not, uh, I don't have an actual appointment with her cause I keep chickening out. I'm just being real and raw right now today. You're welcome. Um, but I will be. And right now I'm kind of in the process of looking for, um, I'm getting back into meetings again, which is good. Um, I'm getting back into being more open. Like I want to be able to be more open on YouTube. Um, it always like, I forgot to tell you this. The reason that I, I haven't talked a lot about any of this that I'm telling you today is because not only like I, I'm, I'm getting over the comments that are like harsh towards me or people who think they're being constructive criticism, but really they're being kind of rude, you know what I mean? But some people really are being constructive and I appreciate that, so thank you, don't stop doing that. But I'm talking about the people that you can tell they're just being rude about it, you know? But even that stuff like isn't really bothering me anymore, but what I'm worried about is that people tend to fight in my comments with each other and I don't wanna cause contention between other people and people's opinions on treatment and stuff, so that's, those are the two reasons that I've chosen to not talk specifically about treatment. So what I will say is that I'm going back to meetings. I will be making an appointment with that lady, but right now I am in the market. If anyone knows anyone, and if you don't live in Utah, ask if, find out if they do like phone sessions or FaceTime or whatever. I'm looking for someone that can specialize in a lot of things right now, because obviously I have a lot of things. I need someone that specializes in eating disorders, trauma, um, 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 borderline personal depression, anxiety, all of those things, and self harm, and obviously eating disorders and all that. So, um, and I've looked a few times, and again, I tried a couple this year that said that they did all that, but you could tell that they didn't, and you could tell that if I would like ask a specific question, like about like about eating disorders in general, you could tell that they would like one of the ladies just kept like looking at her notebook and like she didn't know what I was talking about and she was really young so maybe she just didn't have a lot of experience and maybe she'll be a great therapist for somebody else but for me it didn't work so I'm still looking for one and oh yeah Libby told me about this thing called BetterHelp I have not looked into it yet but I will Libby can you type again so I can read it uh, what that is because I think a lot of people would benefit not just me I totally forgot about that. Libby, type it real quick, will ya? Um, and I'll read it out loud because I know you guys watching later can't see the comments. So, mukbang. Ed is, Penny said, Ed is yelling at you. I love you, Ed is lying. I don't know, it's like I know that. Aw, thank you. Cherry Bomb said, hi, I'm from Brazil. <gasps> Pada veins, pada moce, nesta dada caritas, marcesanos felicidade, marcesanos querida. I know that that's incorrect, <laughs> but <laughs> my dad grew up in Brazil, and that is how we, like, that's how we thought was Portuguese happy birthday for our whole lives. And then my sister, my stepsister married a man who served a mission for two years in Brazil. And he's like, you guys are singing it wrong. And I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry if I just butchered that, but you get the idea. I'm sure like one or two of the words were correct. I don't know. 
What am I doing? Uh, anyway, what were you saying? Where did your comment go, Jerry? Dang it, I lost it. Um, pot of Banes. Pot of Banes? I need to learn that. Wait, I lost your comment, but it was really sweet. Thank you. Whatever you said, I forget. Something, something supportive, so thank you. Um, did did uh, Libby write that out yet? Oh. Oh, Libby can't type it. So I'm pretty sure it's like basically this thing online where you can, um, it's like 25 bucks a month or a week, one of those. It's really cheap. And you can basically like look at a bunch of different therapists apparently. And it's kind of like, it's not like Tinder, but it's kind of like if you don't like them, you can move on to the next one and see until you find one that you fit with. So I can see you, Miss Tiffany. There's, there's 111 people here, but sorry, I'm ignoring everyone. Sorry, I'm really good at that. So <laughs> this is what happens on my live streams. Oh. I'm so cringy. Okay, 75, 75 a month. Um, okay. Does anyone have a question for me? So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, yes. Okay. Lexi Brooks said, would you ever produce your own music and release it? If I were brave enough or good enough, I would. I don't think I'm quite good enough, so probably not. But I do love doing it, but it's more just for fun. So probably not. I don't know. But thank you. That's sweet that you think that that's an option for me. <laughs> Um, I X O Cryptic said, who are you and why are you in my recommended? <laughs> my name is Shani and I'm Shani and I, my channel is about mental health, eating disorders. I sing, I do funny things. I vlog, I do challenges, I do everything, but it's mostly eating disorder, mental health awareness and trying to do it in a comfortable, uplifting way. So, that's where you are, welcome. I pronounced your, how am I supposed to know? You're new here. Anyway, that's why you're here. That person said you pronounced my name wrong, my boy. Um. Sarah said, did you specifically, did you say specifically how you relapse? Can you tell details? Sitting at McDonald's right now from MD. I don't know what that means. Um, yes, I beat myself up in the face um, because my face doesn't bruise. It's something that I used to do a really long time ago. Um, and it's the first time I've self-harmed in, I think, over a year. Um, I didn't cut myself or anything like that, but I beat my face to death. So that's why I'm still a little swollen. I'm, I honestly bet that it will start to bruise. I feel like it's actually starting to, but you can't really tell. You see how that's a little bit, got a little bit of bluish in there, but, but that's, yeah. And then my eating disorder has not been good the past couple weeks or so. Um, yeah, so, but the relapse was self-harm. Oh, oh, bun, oh, oh, said, I think I'm addicted to self-harm. I've been to therapy and have tried to stay clean, but it just doesn't work. I can't stop thinking about it. What do I do? Girl, I'm, or boy, I'm right there with you. I get it. And I'll tell you the same thing I tell everybody when they ask, like, how can I stop or how, what can, what can I do? The biggest thing for me, honestly, which is again, why I actually wanted to do this live stream and like be brave and like get out of my own space today best thing you can do is first of all keep your hands busy because most self-harm you need your hands for second of all do something for somebody else like serve somebody else in some way whether it's like bringing flowers to your mom or helping an old person for a couple hours a day or starting a youtube channel and trying to help people or just anything where you're getting out of your own headspace and focusing on somebody else i will say for the rest of my life that is the number one 
greatest way to stop any horrible self-destructive behavior. Um, and you're gonna have to keep doing it. It's not like it's gonna go away, like it's gonna come back all the time, probably, but you can fight it every time and get stronger and stronger. So, yeah. Thanks guys, you're sweet. Hmm. Hmm. Um, trying to find some questions I haven't answered recently. Miss Tiffany said, how can I privately message you, Shani? You can message me on Instagram, um, but just keep in mind, I hate this. I hate that I have to say this every time too. Um, I don't respond to people's uh, messages just because I get like hundreds a day and it would be impossible to answer all of them and I feel it's unfair to only pick and choose. So I very, 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 very rarely um, reply, but I do read them. So if you're okay with like knowing that, oh, Shani read about it and I at least got to get my feelings out and somebody heard me, then then go for it please my my name on instagram is educating underscore shani and that's where that's the best place to message me <laughs> hmm. um, that's a great question I gotta go with Laura again, sorry. This is like the third time I've chosen Laura, but this is a really good question. She said, what do you think is the most important thing we can do to fight the stigma surrounding eating disorders? What a great question that is, wow. I think the most important thing we can do is to take away the shame and talk about it more. Like, bring it out, because I say it all the time. Eating disorders thrive off of secrecy and loneliness, so we need to bring them out of the dark talk about them and not shame people at all. Don't punish people in any way um, and just look at it as an actual illness and not a rebellious behavior or something like that. Like look at it as, oh, that person is sick and she needs a doctor, she needs help or he, you know? Look at it like that. Just talk about it more and take the shame away somehow. That's what I've been trying to do on my channel, but. I think it's getting there. I think we're. I think we're, we're. We're a small community, but I think we're get. We're getting out there, and we're. We're. We're helping people. We really are. I really, really think so. Um. I'm trying to show you what I'm eating for mukbang purposes, because I know people like to watch that. <laughs> Can you please do comment karaoke? It's Keisha. <laughs> yeah, when Danny's in a better mood, we will. That's a crunchy broccoli. If you guys don't know what comment karaoke is, it's something that we started on Instagram Live. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but it's so much fun. And I have a feeling it would catch on everywhere. Like, it's so much fun. Cat mm -hmm. mm. said, the problem is there's, there's so much help for people wanting to lose weight, but not much for people who need to put it on. My lowest point, I was four stone and wanted to help, uh, wanted help, but there's, not much out there. Oh, I'm so sorry, babe. I don't know what stones mean, but like you weighed as much as four stones. How big are the stones? Is that possible? Do they have stones that are big? What does that mean? I'm kidding. I know what stones are, but I don't know how to calculate it. Um... One stone equals 14 pounds. You're 56 pounds? Whoa. 
Okay, wait, did I do that math right? I'm very impressed if I did. Someone tell me if I did. Anyway, um, what was I just gonna read? Here we go. Emily Danielle said, how do you stay so treatment oriented, Shani? I tried attempting an outpatient eating disorder program and I couldn't go through with it. I'm scared to get better. Girl, I'm right there with you. I don't have an answer. I just wanna tell you, I'm right there with you. I don't, most days, most hours, most time, I don't want to, I don't want to get better. It's like, I know I need it. I know I want it because I know I don't wanna die, but it's like, I'm right there with you. Like I have the hardest time keeping up with my self care as we can see, look what happens. You relapse again and you feel like crap and then you hate yourself and then that makes you want, want to do it more and then you do it more and then you hate yourself more and then you keep doing it. It's a vicious cycle. But I do believe it's possible. I do. I have it in my heart. Deep down, I believe it's possible. I believe that it's something that I will always um, think about and be ailed with in my head but I believe it's possible to fight through it to the point of not doing it, not not needing the behaviors anymore, if that makes sense. Okay, Alexa, wait, where did it go? Alexa Leaped Glitzer said, Please tell me how you stay sober through the day and what do you do after relapse? Um, can you stop while eating and don't spit it out when you have already started? So I have a very hard time with once I've started eating, it's definitely hard for me to stop. So for me on my good days today and this past couple weeks have not been good, but back on my good days, it really helped to kind of, um, Kind of like spread spread out food during like be normal like what people do is apparently <laughs> is they eat three to five small meals a day and they exercise and they get out of the house and get sunshine well, apparently that's like normal um that's difficult for me to do but i do try and on my good days i can do it and I guess you just, again, same with like the self-harm question, I guess you just have to get out of your own headspace at the time. So like when I went down to Vegas to speak at the conference, I didn't think about any, any of my eating disorders because I was thinking about speaking and trying to reach people and trying to help people and getting out of my own head. So like that whole week, I don't even think I've been to Persia all that weekend. I mean, I wasn't into it anyway, but it was back then. But I also wasn't like... I didn't even think about it because I was thinking about other people. And that's the reason I started, one of the reasons I started YouTube. So again, just do what you can. Again, keep your hands busy so you can't binge. Keep them busy with something else. Do a hobby, take up art, and then get out and do something for somebody else. Um, and just try and start slow. Don't like force, you know, the healthiest of healthy eating right away. Just start small and start holding down one meal a day and one little one and then maybe two little and you know <laughs> oh that's a that's a question okay um Mariah H said how did your parents find out about your self-harm okay I feel like I maybe told this once maybe a long time ago so um, my, when my parents got divorced, we moved to a different city and I was 13, 14 years old. Uh, all my other siblings were either like going to graduate soon or they already had, and they were married and stuff. Um, and I, I, uh, for a little bit, I went to live with my aunt and uncle, um, because my mom was struggling, obviously. I was struggling and I felt safe at their house. And so I went to live with them for a little while when I was like 14. And I was in my room one night and cutting my arm. And it, I must have like struck something a little bit because it started bleeding like profusely. And I didn't have anything in my room to take care of it. So I had to run in my bathroom and I got something to put over it and then I knew I wanted to go outside 
And this is the part that's kind of important, so listen up, people. And be honest with yourself if, if this is you too. Um, the stuff that I had put over my arm, it was already bleeding through it. And my bedroom was in the basement. It was two floors. Mine was in the basement. There was a basement door that led to the outside. So if I wanted to go outside, I could have gone out the basement door. I chose to walk up the stairs, go through the kitchen, go through the living room where all of them were, my, my aunt and uncle and my cousins were, so that they could see me, so they could see it. Because back then, when especially when I first started, I absolutely did it for attention. So I walked through and they asked me what was wrong and I said nothing, nothing, and got all like attention whorish. And then I went outside and sat on the porch and my aunt followed me out there and talked to me and I was crying and she was crying and my uncle was livid and good for him for doing that because he was afraid that I was going to teach his children that stuff and stuff because they were all young too. Um, and then that's, that night they called my mom and told her everything. And I don't know how she reacted. I do know that um, she was scared and sad, but I don't know her like initial reaction on the phone because I wasn't listening. So, but I'm pretty sure she did not ground me. No, she did ground me. She grounded me for both when she found out about my eating disorder and self-harm. Um, but I feel like the self-harm was, wasn't as extreme. I think she was more sympathetic and like trying to figure out what was wrong and like just trying to love the crap out of me um, as a way to try and get it to stop. So that's all I can remember right now. I'll have to ask my mom next time I'm with her and how she felt and stuff. Yeah. Yes. What are you curious about? Okay. Marta Pulowski said, I'm scared I'm gonna fall onto Ed. You mean into Ed? I'm scared I'm gonna fall into Ed. I don't know, I don't want to. I know it's bad, but sometimes when I look at myself, all I think about is food and what would happen if I eat less. I don't know what to do. Um, well, I'll tell you what to do, Marta. So, you totally, um, <gasps> Alicia, my house is a mess. Can I, can we do it later? I'll be embarrassed. Like, I'll be really embarrassed. Can we do it later? She's asking if she can come over. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay, so, yeah, you totally should. You should try an eating disorder. It's really great. Um, it makes you, like, lose like relationships and it'll take away your ability to have children most likely so that's kind of cool um you'll lose a lot of like your health like you'll get really really sick and you'll have like a really bad immune system and so you'll get sick really easily and quickly um pretty sure you'll lose your teeth um and then eventually you'll die so and you'll die sooner because eating disorders take off lots of years from your life so you absolutely should try it if you want to lose everything so every time you look in the mirror and think holy crap I'm fat maybe I should not eat remember I'm living proof that those bad things happen and it sucks and I wish I could go back and take it back. So. Does that answer your question? You're welcome. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> what if you're actually fat though, like me? Do I need to starve myself because I'm fat? Is that what you're telling me? 
going to show you how bad I am. I'm really, really bad. And guess what? Sometimes fat is beautiful. If you love yourself and you're taking care of yourself, that's a beautiful thing of any size. Okay. Ow, my knee. Oh, you'll have knee problems too. <laughs> and all the other things. Ow, my knee is stuck. Oh my gosh, look how skinny. Look at how skinny I am, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so skinny. Holy crap. I'm so, so skinny. Look at, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. I should go starve myself. Because if I starve myself, then I'll be like half this size and then, and then I'll die. But at least I'll be skinny. Yeah. <laughs> is beautiful so if I have to fake it till I make it you to do I'm very thick I'm a thick girl no I've got fat lots of it everywhere okay um <laughs> I love you too Finn Let's see. Caitlin Spencer said, I just got diagnosed with an eating disorder. What do I do? You do everything you can to fight it now because so many people here will agree with me. It gets harder and harder and harder and harder to stop the longer you wait. If you can nip this in the bud before it gets way too, way too out of control, trust me on everything. Again, everything I just showed you and told you that happens will happen to you. And if you want to, I love you too, Marta. If you want to... If you can, if you have any little ounce of strength inside of you, access it right now and use it and just please do everything you can. Right now, you're in a phase that it will be easy to get out of. It won't be like super easy, but it will definitely be much easier. So please, 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, what consider, what's considered an eating disorder? Well, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure it's any disordered eating. So binging, purging, starving yourself, binge eating, overeating, uh, over exercising also is an eating disorder anything I don't know that's all I know I don't know how to say it I'm not a doctor but disordered eat eating it's right there in the title that's basically what it is so um, <laughs> now they're back the live streams are back I miss doing live streams too. Chewing and spitting too, yes, thank you, Tiffany. You're one and a half shanties and you're still beautiful, Morgan. Okay. Um Silent Eyes said, what are your biggest binge triggers? My biggest triggers are stress, um, which really sucks because life is stressful. Stress, being around people that um, obsess about weight, even if they're doing it in a healthy way, unfortunately, that's not their fault, that's my, that's my trigger. Um, that triggers me. Um, sadness, loneliness, boredom, happiness, excitedness, my birds, water, my house, the street, restaurants, paper plates, um, fruit, vegetables, food in general, TV, my bed, my living room, the floor. Basically everything is my trigger. <sighs> Wait, is it really frozen? It might just be you, Tiffany. You're the only one saying that. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and answer questions because you guys are asking a lot of questions that I've already answered, so don't be offended. If I don't answer, it's just that I've already asked, answered them. And I'm going to save this to my channel so you guys can go and rewatch whatever you missed. If you want to, you don't have to. I don't know. Lauren said, 
Shani, I'm struggling with bloating in recovery. Any tips, please? That's exactly what I'm struggling with too. I've been trying to drink more water. Um, I know that helps. I take gas X if I have to because I have gastroparesis. I'm about to get gross, be warned, which makes my makes it not easy to poop. And a lot of times my butthole gets really swollen and like shuts inside because it's so swollen. So even like letting out the little bit, littlest bit of air is impossible without an enema some days. Um, because again, I've screwed up my whole system. So, um, so for me, I if if I'm like going out in public, because not only it's not just that I look swollen, it's the feeling of it. It makes me feel very lethargic when I'm bloated. So I will try Gas X. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I used to take it every day and it worked fine, but lately. Um, but if you get the Ultra Strength, I just tried that the other day, and that worked a little bit better. So. I would say that, drinking a lot of water, and that's all I, I don't know. That's all I have. I don't know what else to tell you right now. Yeah, keep asking. If I missed your question, keep asking. And if I don't answer it, that means I've already answered it today, so. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Haley. Haley Nicole says, if you had a daughter that was struggling with the same things you are, what would you say to her? Oh. This is the hardest question in the world. Of course I miss you, Alicia. Um, I would say... Well, from my point of view, like coming, like what I've been through, honestly, I would say, I, I would tell her how much I love her. I would tell her that she's sick and she needs help. She needs a doctor's help. Um, I would tell her she's beautiful. I would do my best in the first place to not talk about my body ever in front of her and to not talk about, not, not like value looks um, and value what your body looks like. like First of all, I wouldn't let it get to that. Like I would always, if and when I do have my little girl, I will always be very, very cautious and careful to not focus on body and looks and all that stuff so that she doesn't get obsessed with it. Um, I would probably tell her the same thing as you guys tell me. I would tell her she's beautiful and I love her and I'm proud of her. Can you not? Birds are not funny, they're loud, so loud. Tell them you love them. I love you. I love you. I usually don't care. Mama loves you. Oh, she turned her back to me. That's a bird's way of rejection, is if they turn their back to you. Like when you punish them, they do something bad, you have to say no, and then turn your back to them. That's how they know that something's wrong. Are you going to be mad at me? Okay. Um, Lemon said, how do you deal with the BPD internal dialogue? Well, that's something super new for me, um, but I mean like treating it is new for me. Danny has been a godsend obviously in more ways than one, but it's getting to the point now where he knows if, if it's like BPD thoughts that I'm having or if it's my eating disorder or if it's both. And I'm just really lucky to have him because he knows what to do to kind of like bring me out of it most of the time. Um, but it's hard, like I had no idea how hard it would be to deal with this. And I've got a long road. I'm nowhere near even knowledgeable enough to even tell you like what to do. I just know that what I've been doing is 
relying on Danny, which is great, but it's also not because when he's not here, then what? You know. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have a good answer, but that's all I have. So, <laughs> thank you. Dolly said, thanks for answering the hard questions. Not a lot of people would. Thank you. I decided to be brave just today. And be totally honest, so you can ask me anything. You can ask me anything about anything else, too. Anything else in my life. Whatever you want to know. Hmm. Adam, I love you, Adam, says, uh, how do I talk to someone I love when I'm too anxious? I can't talk to them because it makes me stress so much. I idealize them because of BPD. Um, this is something I've dealt with my whole life, actually. And I don't ask me because I do it the wrong way. I hide. That's what I do. When I get too anxious to talk to people, I hide. I don't answer my phone, I don't answer my texts, I don't go to parties, I don't leave my house. Um, and that's not good, that's not healthy, but that's, you know. But there are days where I'll have a phone call with someone or something and I knew that I was anxious going into it and then when I hang up the phone, I'm like, wait, that wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So like sometimes if you're feeling strong enough to try, and see how it makes you feel and then maybe that can give you strength for the next time. Like my brother, for instance, called me a couple weeks ago out of the blue. We haven't, we haven't really talked a lot lately, but he just called me out of the blue to see how I was doing. And I love my brother. He was my best friend growing up and I still consider him a best friend even though we never talk. We're just connected in a way. Um, but he just called me out of nowhere and, and I happened to be in a mood to answer the phone and so I did and it ended up being a really good talk and really special and I cried and it was beautiful and I hung up thinking man it's really not that scary what am I even like scared of like what was I scared of you know so sometimes you just have to like and then the next time he called I was able to answer or the next time he texted I answered because it didn't feel as scary to me you know I don't know take it till you make it practice makes perfect all of those things are absolutely true. Yeah. Tiffany from Tiffany Gray Music, go subscribe please, said, um, Shani, I have a lot of social anxiety too, especially over the phone and online. I'm very picky about who I will talk to on the phone. I know how that feels. I know you are Tiff. We're a lot alike. Tiffany and I are a lot alike actually. I love you too, Ari. I'm doing okay right now. Oh, thanks, Jamie. I'm okay right now. You can go back and watch this later if you're just joining. And I'm trying to find questions that I haven't answered yet, just so you know. Emily Veganflower, please go subscribe to her, of course, um, said, how do you resist the urge to purge after eating when your body, not just your brain, is fighting you hard? Well, I'm just going to be real honest. I don't, okay, so anytime I've kept down a lot of food, I'm having deja vu. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, it's still happening. <gasps> it's still happening. I see it. I see you. I see me. I see the food. Exactly. Oh, it's still happening. It's still going because I said that I see it and I see you and I see the food and, I, and it's still going. I can see that. Oh my gosh, this is the longest one I've ever had in my whole life. Whoa, what is happening? It's still happening. It's still happening. When is it going to stop? What the heck? Stop. Go away. How do you stop these things?
Okay, hold on, hold on. We're getting out. <gasps> that was so bizarre. I get... Um, deja vu. I get deja vu a lot. But that was a really long one. That was weird. I'm sorry. Anyway, what was I talking about? Emily was asking... I forget exactly what you asked, but if it's... Um, how do you not purge after binging or something or eating a meal or whatever? I typically, if I'm going to, if I know I'm going to eat a big meal and I want to keep it down, this isn't the healthy thing to do, but I eat it right before bed so that I'll fall asleep and not worry about feeling the fullness and feeling horrible. So that's what I do. And then if I know I'm going to binge and purge, or if I know I'm going to binge and I know I'm not going to sleep, then I don't binge in the first place. Because for me, it's not about the purging. For me, it's the binging. That's the, that's the temptation for me, not the purging. You asked, how do you resist the urge to purge after eating when your body, not just your brain, is fighting hard? Yeah. So, I don't know. Again, just keep yourself busy, I guess. Get out of your head. Emily, you have more experience with this than I do. You should be telling me. Um, hmm. Tiffany said, hey, Shani, can you please talk about the crap going on with YouTube? Yes, I can. Um, so YouTube's being a butthole again. Um, I have a theory that they're trying to piss us off as much as they can, us as in creators, so that we will eventually have to start paying to have a YouTube. That's my thing. But what Tiffany's talking about is views and the subscribers, Emily can vouch for this, is just really going south and not adding up. Like nothing is adding up to us and what we do and stuff. And this isn't just us who has, we who have smaller ch channels. This is like even bigger channels are having this problem too. Like they're losing subscribers for no reason. Their views are not correct. Everything's out of whack. People are getting flagged for the stupidest videos for the stupidest reasons. Um, yeah, so I don't know what, I don't know what's happening, but that's my theory, is that they're trying to make us so mad that eventually we'll be desperate enough to pay them $10 a month in order to be a creator. That's what I think. I think this is all a big ploy to get money from the creators. So that's what I think. Mark my words, guarantee sometime within the year, they're gonna be like, well, you'll get you know, we can fix those problems for $9.99 a month. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So it's not just you, and it's not just a smaller channel. It's big channels this is happening to. Danny is downstairs working. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jamie said, Jamie Gamer said, do you sometimes feel like you're depressed? I know I do. By the way, Shani, good job on your channel. Thank you so much. Yes, I feel depressed all the time. And the worst is when you feel depressed for no reason. I get seasonal depression. I, I understand seasonal depression. I understand circumstantial depression. But like when it comes out of nowhere, when you're just sitting there looking at a wall or something and all of a sudden you're just so sad and want to just curl up in a ball and die and just stay in your room forever. Like, that's really annoying, so. Yes, I do get it. <laughs> and I'm sorry you do too, it really sucks. I know, the decorations look like a classroom. That's what I was going for. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple more and then I'm gonna go. If you guys want. I'm very open right now, so if you, I don't know when this will happen again. So if you've got a personal question, 
and I might answer. Let me know. Yeah, the tree is for back to school. I think it's cute. What time is it where I live? It is 6.40 p.m. Princess Avocado said, how do you know if you have BPD? You have to be diagnosed by a psychiatrist. And for me, I don't know if it... She diagnosed me after one meeting. I'm very soon going to get a second opinion just in case because um ew, well, that was not a good piece of chicken. Um Am I Canadian? I actually wish I was, but no, I'm not. I wish I was. I feel like I'm Canadian. I feel like my personality is Canadian, so. Okay, I'm just looking for a couple questions that I have not answered that I think would be good for ending this. get your not Fitbit. I got it on Amazon. It was like $25. And I've already doubled my original goal. So tomorrow I'm going to turn it up more. But it works okay. It kind of t it's kind of slow though. I think I get why people buy the Fitbits because I think it would work a little bit better. Like it takes a while for the steps to catch up so you never know what you're at until like way later. It's kind of annoying. I might get an actual Fitbit. We'll see how this works. But it's like if I'm walking outside and I want to know how many steps I do, then I would have to like pause and wait for like 10 minutes for it to catch up. So that's kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure Fitbits tell you like as you go. I could be wrong. Um, Gabriella said, what should I do to help my best friend who recently started self-harming again after stopping for over a year? Can I do anything? All you can do is offer your love and support and keep loving and supporting. That's all you can do. There's nothing else you can do. You can be her friend. You can listen if you're up to it. You can love her unconditionally, but you can't fix it for her. Just be there for her as much as you can and let her know that you're there. And if she refuses your help, then try and there's a reason. So just keep thinking of her and telling her that you love her every day, telling her how awesome she is, and that you believe in her. Encourage her. Encourage her. Tell her that you believe in her a lot. Okay. Um, no, I didn't love you, but I'll check. Thank you. Nick said, I'm glad I found your channel. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Nick. I'm glad you found me too. Don't watch your video. Of course I'm going to watch it. Mm. Emily said, just got here. What did I miss? Well, I'm about to leave. <laughs> but... This will be saved to YouTube, so you can go back and watch it later if you'd like. Mm. 
Yes, I'll still do my bedtime live stream, guys, on Instagram. Jen, remember me? Remind me, Jen. What do you mean? <laughs> Belle Rosa said, Shani, can you, Shannon, can you promise me something that you are never giving up on yourself and on us, please? Absolutely, I promise. From the bottom of my soul of my hearts down to the chamber that holds the hearts with the ribs that sometimes are near it and the ribs are strong in by the heart to hold the heart if that's how it works and the the things that pump the blood into the heart so that I know that I will never leave you so I will never give up you can't either. That's the deal. We're in this together. Aw, thank you. Angela said, you're such a blessing. You've taught me so much, and I'm so grateful for what you are doing on YouTube. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, aw, that's sweet. You guys are being so sweet. Lou Panda said, hi, Shani. I don't suffer from an eating disorder, and I don't know anyone who does, but I find your videos so helpful, especially when I'm feeling depressed and anxious. Aw, thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh, purple hearts. Yes, thank you. Oh, stop. Oh, you're the best person in your life. Aw, see what I did there? <laughs> Your hair is so luscious. Do you ever think about donating it, switching up your hair? Danny loves my long hair, and so do I. But I'm not against it. You never know. Maybe. Um, wait, what? What are you talking about, Jen? The girl you just called fat, she is... Oh, that's right. The girl you just called fat, she is filling up on Diet Coke. The girl you just called ugly... She spends hours putting makeup on, hoping people will like her. So true. We never, ever, ever, ever know. And words hurt. Okay. I'll take one more and then I'm going to go. Yes, I remember you now. <laughs> um... I didn't Libby, but I haven't checked YouTube today yet. Um, let me find a really good one to end on. Give me your best question and I'll choose one. Of course I'll pray for you, Tiffany. You stay strong, okay? You're worth more than that. And you know that. Yes, my thumb is double jointed. Everything on me is double jointed. You can't see, but I'm touching it. Um, you're gonna stop, good for you. I don't know what you're talking about, but if it's something bad, then good for you. Okay, um, hmm. Hmm. These are good ones, keep them coming. All right, I've answered all of these, so I'm kind of, I think most of them. For the friend one, if you, if you're having a friend that started, go and rewatch this, because I talked about that. I already talked about that stuff. 
Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. Do I always stop asking a question? Okay. You can say whatever you want. Okay. Um. Let's do. my thumb again. Okay, hold on. Um, let's do, where did it go? I lost it now, dang it. Crap, I lost it. Oh, here it is. Amanda Howerton said, how do you stay so honest with yourself and with others about your eating disorder? For me, YouTube. And I also have a husband who's very connected with me and he knows, like he'll know most of the time, at least these days. I'll do the thumb thing again because they're asking. You bend and then you go. Wait, and then what do you go? <laughs> Looks like it hurts, but it doesn't. I know, it's kind of gross. Anyway, so what was I saying? I don't know, just find someone you trust, maybe. Get a sponsor, um, but also just. Remember that sometimes not owning up to it can lead to your death. <laughs> like, it's that simple. Like, you need to be telling somebody because if something bad happens and nobody knows what you've been going through, then they might come in and find you dead on the floor and be like, wait, what killed her? Or they might come in and find you, like, passed out on the floor and they won't know what to do because they didn't know that you were sick. They didn't know that you had a problem. And so they wouldn't know quick enough how to help you so that you didn't die all the way so like it's just really important to make sure that you have somebody in your life that knows what you're going through and preferably somebody that knows you and sees you every day and lives with you um that's what i would say i don't know oh i know she said my problem is my brain tries to justify the eating disorder behaviors i know that's what it is that's what eating disorders are they're very very good at getting in your head and tricking you into thinking that it's the answer, that that's what you should be doing, but it's not, and you know that. So just pick one person and pick one reason, just even the littlest, even the littlest reason, and then build from that to try and to not give up, so. Okay, I'm gonna go, guys. Thanks for joining, thanks for being nice to me. I was very nervous about this live stream. Thank you for understanding and um, thanks for being here with me during this hard time. I really appreciate it and I really need it. So thank you, and I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow for a video. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Love you guys.